Most people see debt as the modern day financial disease, especially as borrowing is becoming increasingly easier. While that in itself might be true, it is also important to know that debt can be a helpful tool towards achieving financial freedom, meaning it can be either a tool for disaster or success. In today's video, we're going to gain a better understanding of debt, how you can leverage debt plus its drawbacks in order to help you make informed decisions. Here are the areas we'll cover in this topic. Number one, what is debt? Number two, good debt versus bad debt. Number three, understanding collateral. Number four, types of debt. And number five, pros and cons of debt. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon in order to be notified when I make further videos. Let's dive in. Number one, what is debt? Debt is an amount of money that is owed by one party, mainly the borrower, to another party, the creditor. Usually, debt comes in the form of a loan, but it can also be in the form of bonds, mortgages, or other financial instruments. Debt is typically incurred when a borrower needs to borrow money to pay for something, such as a house, a car, or a business venture. The borrower is then required to pay back the loan, plus interest to the creditor over a specified period of time. The terms of the debt, including the interest rate and the repayment schedule, are typically outlined in a contract called a loan agreement. Good debt versus bad debt. A good debt is a debt that is incurred to purchase something that will provide value over the long term and potentially increase in value. A bad debt is a debt that is incurred to purchase something that will not provide value over the long term and is not likely to increase in value. Good debts are typically considered investments as they have the potential to generate income or increase in value over time. Examples of good debts include a mortgage on a home that is expected to appreciate in value, a student loan to finance an education that would lead to higher paying job opportunities, or a loan to start a business that is expected to be profitable. Bad debts, on the other hand, are typically considered expenses as they do not generate income or increase in value over time. Examples of bad debt include credit card debt used to finance consumption, a car loan used to purchase a vehicle that is rapidly depreciating in value, or a personal loan used to finance a vacation or other leisure activity. It's important to know that what is considered a good debt or a bad debt can vary depending on an individual's circumstances and priorities. For example, a mortgage on a rental property could be considered a good debt if the rental income generated covers the cost of the mortgage and generates a profit, while it could be considered a bad debt if the rental income is insufficient to cover the mortgage and the property is not expected to appreciate in value. Similarly, a student loan can be considered a good debt if it leads to a higher paying job and the loan can be paid off in a reasonable amount of time. Why it could be considered a bad debt if the education does not lead to higher paying job opportunities and the loan takes a long time to pay off. Understanding collateral. Collateral is an asset or property that a borrower promises to a lender in case of default on the loan. It is viewed as a way to protect the lender from losses if the borrower fails to make payments. Collateral can be anything from real estate to equipment or vehicles to cash, etc. When a borrower puts up collateral, it is a sign of good faith that the borrower will pay back the loan. If a borrower defaults on the loan, then the lender can seize the collateral and liquidate it to recoup their losses. Types of debts. Debts can come in many different forms and each type of debt has its advantages and disadvantages. They can be classified as secured debts, unsecured debts, revolving and mortgage debts. Secured debts. 
These types of debts require collateral to be granted. The lender uses the collateral as a weight to protect their investment. A common example of this would be a home loan, where the home serves as collateral in case of default. As a result, secure loans often have lower interest rates, longer repayment terms, and more flexible payment options. Because of this, secured loans are often seen as the most favorable type of debt. Two, unsecured debts. Unsecured debts do not require collateral and are often required to as signature loans. To get this type of loan, the borrower must have a good credit score and the lender will use this to determine if they approve the loan. Unsecured debts often come with higher interest rates and shorter repayment terms due to lack of collateral. These types of loans can be more difficult to obtain, but they often have the most flexibility when it comes to repayment. A good example of this is a personal loan, which is unsecured and typically has a high interest rate. Three, revolving debts. Revolving debts are lines of credit that can be assessed and used over and over again. This means that the borrower can use the available credit as needed within a predetermined limit. The interest is often accrued on the remaining balance until it is paid off in full. A common example of this is a credit card which the user can use to purchase items and then make payments on the outstanding balance. This type of debt is often seen as one of the more expensive options due to the high interest rate and fees associated with it. They also have the advantage of being more flexible and allowing borrowers to make payments over time. Four, mortgage debts. A mortgage is a long-term loan used to purchase property. This type of debt is secured by the property itself and typically has the longest repayment terms out of all the different types. A mortgage is often seen as one of the best ways to build credit and can be used to purchase a home or other real estate because it gives the borrower more time to pay off the loan, usually between 15 to 30 years. The interest rates on a mortgage are often lower than other types of loan, but the repayment terms can vary greatly depending on the lender. This type of debt is often seen as a great investment since it can help build equity over time. Pros and cons of debt. Having debt can be a good and bad thing. On one hand, it allows people to make purchases that they couldn't otherwise afford without taking out the loan. On the other hand, it can also be difficult to manage as it accrues higher interest rates which can make it hard to pay off. The pros of taking on loan or debt include access to capital that you never had, the ability to make large purchases that would otherwise be unaffordable, the capacity to extend payments over a long period, access to better interest rates for those with good credit, the possibility to accumulate equity over time. The cons of taking on debt include accruing expensive interest rates, accumulating large amounts of debt, having to manage multiple loan repayments at once, potentially having to use collateral which could be lost in case of default. In summary, debt can be a great tool for those who need access to capital that they wouldn't otherwise have. However, without a proper understanding of how money and debt work, it could be a recipe for disaster. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.